Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how you can make this type of ripple logo animation in After Effects. You don't have to use any plugin, so without any new, let's get started. First, I will create a new composition. You can select your resolution as you want. I am choosing 1080 29 frames, and here I can change the duration to about 7 seconds. Press OK. And now I will create a new layer, solid. So on this layer we will create ripples like this to do so we will first pre-compose this layer name it like ripple or any other text you want select this move all attributes into the new composition and press ok after that open this ripple composition and select this layer and now we have to apply radio waves effect on this layer you can also go from effects generate and radio waves so if we play this pressing space bar it will create some waves from the center but there are too many of them we only want one so we will change this frequency to zero so now only one wave will be created as you can see it's very slow so we have to increase this expansion it will cause it to speed up so i will increase it to 10 now it's, it's a bit fast we have to give it a life because we want it to fade away so i will change this lifespan to about 1.7 seconds now if we play the animation it will decay automatically so that's how waves decay in the water we will change this color to white and increase its start width to 20 and decrease the end width to 0 but this is only one wave we want to create 3 or 4 waves so we just have to duplicate this layer 1, 2 or any 3 like if you want 4 layers then you can duplicate it 4 times I am making uh, duplicating it three times because I only want three layers. Now we will offset this layer. Like second one, I will offset it right here, and the third one, I will offset it right here. So now, if I play the animation, it will look something like this. Now we have to add a fast blur on these layers. Go to effects, blur, fast box blur, and increase it to seven or any other value, but seven is a good number. That's how a wave looks like. It's more raised on the center but not raised at the edges so that's why we have to add this fast box blur now we will go into our main comp and we can see nothing is happening there first i will choose a background right here bring this layer underneath every layer and scale this background layer please make sure you choose dark background layers because water ripples are more visible on that we will also create a solid layer to give it more dark colors decrease the opacity to around about 35 now I will drag here the logo file that we want it to be animated right here and scale it down on what here and everything is set now we have to create an adjustment layer to apply that ripple effect after selecting the adjustment layer we have to go into the effects and preset and search caustics you can also search it from effect simulations and caustics as you can see there is nothing else only blue screen to make something happen we have to select this water surface and click this and select our ripple composition right here this composition and now something is happening in our layer to remove this blue tinted effect uh, we have to decrease the surface opacity to zero like this so now we have to change these values white smoothing water depth reflective index and caustic strength so first i will increase the caustic strength and give it a little bit smoothing on right here and increase the water height and water depth and now we have to change the reflective index to give it a good look on about here now if we play the animation it will look something like this now what i have to do i also want this logo to, to be animated before this ripple effects for opacity opacity give it a keyframe right here of 100 opacity and bring the opacity to zero now if you play the animation it will look something like this bring this keyframe forward easy is then by pressing f9 if you want to delay this ripple animation to happen you can select this ripple composition and drag it we want it to happen right here so like this if i play this animation now it will look something like this you have to change the position as you like so that's it uh, you can also add any text and if you add any text please make sure you bring this text layer below this adjustment layer. otherwise the effect will not work so i hope you like this video and for more please subscribe to my channel thank you